Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey and you are here, WCR Nation. Now, I feel like I've been gone forever. Our last three episodes were actually interviews, so uh, I had like time off. We did all those interviews in one time. Make sure to go check them out. It was Chrissy Lambo, Christopher Lamborghinis. Uh, it was um, Tradman, and then Chris Cartwright, 462 Concepts on SEO. Awesome interviews, so go back and watch those if you haven't already. But if you are new to WCR Nation, welcome. Like I said, we have a ton of episodes for you to go back and watch, listen to. Um, please go do that. You will only mildly be disappointed in the content. Most of it's all right. Most of it. Most of it is all right. <laughs> but if you are part of the nation, I appreciate you. I just want to say thank you for being here. If you're part of the nation, that means you watch and listen every week. You send me messages. I get a ton of text messages being like, what's up, Jersey? The show is awesome, and I appreciate that. That makes me feel so amazing. So amazing. And uh, so please do that. Um, also, if you uh, get a chance to uh, get me your email, I'm sorry, email me your address. I will get you out a nation sticker. Um, those are way behind, so I'm sorry. We're getting new sticker sheets made up as we speak now, which will be complete season uh, sticker packs, which will be pretty awesome. But um, I am a sales rep for Window Cleaning Resource. So even more than shooting me a text and being like, what's up? Order your supplies through me. That would be amazing. And I really, really, really then thank my uh, customers. I have a lot of guys who call me exclusively, and that's amazing to me. Really, truly appreciate it. That means the world to me. Uh, my number is 862-312-2026. So shoot me a text. Say what's up. Love the show. Hate the show. Whatever. Send it. Let me know what you think. And if you want to order supplies, definitely do that. So here's what we're doing. Switching away this week, we are going to be doing this uh, new giveaway. Every single week we're doing a giveaway. We have a random generator uh, that takes YouTube comments. So if you're watching this on YouTube, if you are or if you're not, get to YouTube. Under this, just thumbs up the video and comment. Tell me anything about yourself. We are going to pick a winner every single week. This week, we are going to be giving away a $50 credit towards anything window cleaning resource and a swag bag. That's going to be the t-shirt from WCR Life, the uh, Ettore pin. It's also going to have sticker sheets for the rest of the stuff up on the wall. Definitely, definitely do that. So even if you're watching these videos not fresh and new, uh, comment down below on the newest video and we will be doing this every week. So thumbs up, comment, blah, blah, blah. All right, on to the video itself. First, I want to say a couple shout outs to Jeremiah Green. What up? Mettler Maintenance is back. That's a Monarch Window Cleaning. Uh, he and I were talking about rebranding, which is super interesting. We're going to be doing a show on rebranding down the road. And uh, Tyler Sodi. Um, what's up, y'all? Uh, if you want to shout out, like I said, shoot me a message. Cool. Um, what we're talking about today is we are talking about home shows, uh, and I don't want to limit it necessarily to home shows, but that's the best bang for the buck. But shows, right? Uh, having a booth, doing a show, craft show, trade show, anything where people are coming where you can sell your service. I've done a ton of these, and I really, 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 really like them. Really like them. Not only... Uh, I don't mind talking if you didn't know that, um, but uh, they're super, super beneficial. Now, first I'm going to start with home shows because home shows are where you're going to get the best buck. Now, this crosses over to everything, but if you're doing a craft fair, you're not going to be setting up a big display or big booth or that type of thing. So a little bit different, but home shows are where it's at. If you have a home show in your area, which everyone does, I mean, unless you're in the ho dunk like middle of nowhere which you may be cool what's up on your 56k modem uh then you might not have one directly in your area but almost everywhere has a home show a garden show a home and garden show a some kind of show where people will come to look for services mostly products for their house now first and foremost 
with all of these, you're getting qualified leads. And that is huge. You don't even realize how much, how beneficial that is when everybody that shows up to the home show, garden show, that type of thing is a homeowner. They're qualified. They have a home. Guess who you sell to? People with homes, right? So those people that are showing up there that want to get um, siding, roofing, windows, kitchen remodels, any of that stuff, they're the ones that have expendable income, disposable income, whatever. They're homeowners, first and foremost, and they're there to buy something new, clean, to fix their house up, which means they give a damn. They're hugely qualified, hugely qualified. Now, if you've done a show, you understand the fact that there are lurkers. They're lurkers, right? Show, let's say show starts Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday morning, up until about 2 in the afternoon, you will get lurkers. Those are the old people who have nothing better to do. They got a free ticket from the senior center, right? They show up, take your candy, drink their coffee, walk around, and talk to everybody. They really are not qualified, but everybody else is qualified. The old timers are fun to talk to anyway. Usually they shuffle around, uh, you know, talk to you just so they can get candy. You practice your pitch. You practice what you're going to say to the people who actually matter. But lurkers are just part of the uh, crowd in the morning, usually Friday, but once it gets busy, busy they don't want to go there, right? And they're probably in bed by 2 or 3 in the afternoon anyway, or at least out to dinner. But um, home shows in general are amazing. Everybody else in the crowd is just super, super focused. They're, uh, they're just your target market. They really, really are. But what do you do to get them in your booth and talk to them? It is not as simple as just being there and then everybody wants to talk to you. Oh, window cleaning? Sign me up. That's not quite how it works. Because the other, the downfall, if you will, of them is that everybody has lights and pictures and giveaways and and dogs and spitty wheels and, 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 and displays and it's so much you can get lost very, very easily. So what you have to do is focus on what draws people, makes them look at you, and gets them in so you can talk to them. Because again, the best asset you have for your business is you. No one's going to give a damn like you do. No one's going to care. No one's going to know as much as you do about your own business. So getting them into the booth is huge. Now, what I did was I had two CV, TV monitors built into a booth. I made myself out of two by fours and then laminated the front so it was a really nice, but also detachable. You could take it apart, set it up, that type of thing. Um, but uh, it was simple. There was some graphics. If you go and get a uh, 10 by 10 backdrop, right? The printed ones, you're looking a couple hundred bucks. Awesome, awesome investment for it. The biggest thing, the biggest thing is you need to go billboard style and do little info and it needs to be big and bold of what you really want to talk about first and foremost, like a billboard. You get a billboard with a picture of a cheeseburger and says, exit now, McDonald's. That's all it says. That's the most beneficial billboard to that company. When you get a billboard uh, or even these guys that are doing raps and they put a thousand things, we've probably, well, we started in 1924, we... You're losing people. They're not going to see what you want them to see. They're going to get lost and they're not going to they're not going to call you. They're not going to come into your booth. So nice and simple. Couple pictures, couple pictures of exactly what you're doing. They don't need to be artistic. They don't need you're not making these pictures for other guys who know window cleaning or pressure wash or roof cleaning any of that stuff. They're just simple pictures of the process. And in big letters, what I would do is my company name window cleaning big letters the entire booth the entire size of the backdrop well don't you want people to see your name no i want them to see my name when they come in the booth i'll explain it give them information and all that but i want them to see window cleaning because this is how people do there's so much going on they go like this as they're walking mm -hmm. and they're walking down booths and something has to catch their attention I've literally had signs that said, window cleaning and pressure washing. And people come in and go, oh, pressure washing, huh? No, don't need any of that. You didn't even read the first word. Window cleaning, window cleaning. No one talks about that. So being specific just to get them in. And not to be, don't put home exterior services or uh, residential exterior services or exterior cleaning or any of that stuff. Like it's lost. There's too many things. Put one, your bread and butter, put it. 
sell them on the rest, but put your bread and butter up there first and foremost. Window cleaning, if that is it for you, window cleaning. Pressure washing, if that's it for you, pressure washing. One thing, giant, so it catches their attention. Now, they see it, it triggers something in their brain. Oh, uh, you guys do window cleaning. Okay, that's all that matters. That's all it needed to do is trigger the response. Now they're in. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, we've been doing it for X amount of years. Give them the spiel. Everybody's got the spiel. Not pushy, not salesy, but you need to give them a spiel about who you are. Yeah, you know, we do free estimates. Here's a pamphlet. Get the information in their hands right away. Why? Because they got a bag of junk. You ever see it at a home show, trade show, garden show? They have a bag. It was sponsored by somebody who's got their big logo on there, but they're throwing everything in there. Pens and candy and business cards and crap that they don't even need. Insulation samples, right? They don't even need this stuff, but they're throwing it into the bag. They want to put, and by the way, I say the word bag wrong. That's my Midwestern accent. I get made fun of here now that I'm in North Carolina. So you don't have to make fun of me more for it. But in their satchel, <laughs> then uh, they have everything. You're gonna put, you want them to put your pamphlet or brochure or business card or whatever you have in there. The better that piece looks, the more likely when they're going through all the crap later to find the candy and the pens and pull all that out, they're gonna catch it and see it. But you wanna get it in their, in their hands right away as long, as far as information goes. But once they're in, now sell them on your service. The best thing that you could possibly do, in my opinion, this is probably 110% the best thing, I mean, I'm so sure on this, is doing in uh, instant estimates. Oh, I don't do instant estimates. I go on to my job. I, I like to talk to people in person. I, I like to do the upsell right. They're there. They're right there in front of you. They're there and they are ready to buy. They came there with open wallets. They're ready to buy. Get your computer out. Pay for the internet, no matter how expensive it is. Tether, do whatever you need to do, but be able to do instant estimates. Oh, I can give you a quick estimate right now on the phone. Uh, uh, over the computer, I'll look at your house right now. Oh, really? You can do that? Yeah, absolutely. Let's take a peek. They walk over to your computer. Oh, what's your address? 123 Fake Street. Type it in. Pulls up the Google Maps, Bing Maps, whatever you're using. I like the one, uh, Bing Bird's Eye, where you can go around the house, right? Oh, great. This is your house? Yeah, that's it right there. Some people are still amazed you can see their house. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, cool. So what type of windows? I'm looking at the window. I know if there's a line in the middle, it's either a, a, a double hung uh, with storms or without. If there's no line in the middle, it could be a crank. So I'm going to ask. Oh, okay. So it looks like you have double hungs. Are those the windows on a nice day that you slide up and down or do they crank open? Oh, uh, those ones slide up on the back. There's a couple cranks. Some of those don't even move. Okay, great, great. Now I know in my brain what kind of windows they are. All right, so on a nice day, and this is coming from Wisconsin, I've never even seen a storm window here in North Carolina. Amazing, right? But if you have storms, I always say this next line when they say they have double hungs. Okay, so on a nice day, when you open up your windows, do you open up your window and then there's another piece of glass you have to open up to get to the screen? Or when you open it up, is there a piece of uh, screen right on the other side of that? Or thermal panes? Because that word thermal panes, they will remember. And they go, oh, uh, yeah, no, uh, the thermal panes, I have that kind where you just uh, open it up and the screen's right there. Oh, great, great, okay. So our price is blah, blah, blah. Let me count your windows. Oh, we're doing, you know, uh, $10 a window. Oh, okay, wow, yeah, so, yeah. So your price on your house is going to be, we'll say two forty nine. Because I always drop down, uh, it's the same rule. Anything you buy is always something nine. It's not like, you know, $2,300. It's twenty two ninety nine, right? I always do that. When you say that price, like, oh, okay, yeah, no, cool. Yeah, great. Actually, we have, because I have my calendar open up behind my screen. So I look at that. Oh, great. Okay, so the price is, and I drop that one down and pull up my calendar. And they're still, like, looking over your shoulder, right? Oh, yeah, so um, price is two forty nine, and we actually are available as soon as next Tuesday, if that works for you. That's inside, outside, track sales, frames, whole kit and caboodle, whatever your spiel is to kind of sell them on that part. And say, oh, we're actually doing a show special. And whatever that show special is, that's the hook, right? Because they go to a show getting the best deal. They don't go there and go, hey, come on in, pay retail, right? They want something free. So what I'll do is, if the house is a two-story or something like that, I'm not even advertising it anywhere to get them in because people don't necessarily need that to get sucked in. But when they're here, go, hey, it's $249. we are available actually next Tuesday and... Because you're at the show here, we're doing a show special. If we do the window cleaning, we give you a free gutter cleaning. 
or whatever that is. What? You can't do that. That's like $200. It doesn't matter. Be amazing. It's going to add a half hour, hour to your time. That's what you're looking at. Be amazing. Get those deals. Those people are ready to spend, right? Right now, at this part of the game, they know your name. They got your information. Even if they say yes or no, they inquired on it. They got an actual estimate. They didn't put their name down in a book and go, oh, we'll get you an estimate within three days, right? They didn't do that. You gave it to them right then and there. All they have is the decision, yes or no. They don't have to think about anything more than yes or no. What is the answer? What are they going to do, yes or no? And I'm telling you, most of the times, if your spiel is good, they're going to be like, oh, man, yeah, that sounds great. If they looked at it when they walked, they walk in, they already know that they want that service. They're questioning it because of that. Now, you're not going to have a 100% close rate. I get that. You're going to be darn close. And that right there, one job, will pay for your entire booth. Entire booth, one job. Because not only are you doing it that one time, but they're going to be a client for life or for a long time, right? Um, booths are not that expensive. If you're talking $500 to $1,000, $1,200 is like the very top. That has nothing when you talk about the return on investment. So now you've gotten the customer in. You've given them the information. You've given them the quote. You've given them everything they need to know is yes or no. Now, yes or no is the answer, but there's the third one. The third one, oh, yeah, no, that's a really good price, actually. Let me, let me talk to my wife and see if they're not there. Usually, the other nice thing is that they're standing right there, so they can't do that. Let me talk to my husband. Isn't that him right there? Yeah, let me... What I'll do is I take down the information. Okay, well, let me write this down so I remember the uh, pricing I gave you. That's when I write down the information. Now I have their name, their phone number, the address, because I put it in the system, and the price. Now I can follow up even if nothing happens. I now have a list of 10 clients. I'm going to follow up. They've already gotten the information. They've looked at the literature. They've talked to me. They've met me. I've met them. We small talked about kids in school and blah, 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 blah. They are an easy close and a follow-up, even if it gets to that point. They really, really are. Now you're getting and taking leads. How valuable is a lead? If you use Home Advisor, you're talking about $20 a lead. These are overqualified leads. I'd pay 30, 40 bucks for a lead. If you got 10 of them, that's $400 worth of stuff right there that I would have uh, beneficial for doing these, these shows. But now they're in, you've closed them, you've done the whole thing. But what? was it that kind of got them in first off like i said trigger the information trigger that whatever yes some people have fancy giveaways and they talk to everybody but here's the thing you get bombarded when you go to these and you've been to them you've seen them you've you've experienced them everybody's trying to give you something hey you want to go by come on in we'll talk hey you want to, what's your next uh, home improvement project right everybody's bombarding all i do is stand there hey how are you that's a good show so far? Yeah, cool. I'm not going to sell you. I'm not going to annoy the piss out of you so you try to come in. I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is I'm going to have chocolate in my booth. Not Tootsie Rolls, right? I'm going to have chocolate. I'm going to go and spend. I'm going to Sam's Club, Costco, whatever. I'm buying the big bag of those expensive shiny chocolates. Why? Because people are going to, oh, chocolate. It's very hard for people to, to pull away from chocolate. That's another way to get it in. Because people are looking, uh, they have pen, sure. You're going to get a billion pens. They're not going to purposely walk in and grab literature, just literature, unless they're interested. That's when you swoop in anyway. But chocolate, you're going to get people in for chocolate. And it's a small investment to get them in. And here's the sexist comment of the day. Make sure to write me angry emails about this. Who likes chocolate? Well, yeah, everybody kind of likes chocolate. But who really, really likes chocolate? Yeah, your target audience females, well, all of them, I guess. All women like chocolate, right? They're the ones that kind of come in, and kids, but uh, kids will go, oh, bring your parents in, ha, ha, ha. It's kind of a joke, you know. But you'll get people in to get the chocolate. Now they're in. Now they, what they do is they've gotten something from you, and they feel committed to talk to you. When they come in and get chocolate, oh, wow, window cleaning, huh? Yeah, I have never even thought of that. Oh, yeah, no, we've been in business for 12 years. We do hundreds and hundreds, thousands of homes a year. We get free estimates right here. It's pretty cool. I, I didn't sell anything. But when I said the free estimates, I'll tuck in a bunch of funny stuff or, you know, just quick literature. Oh, yeah, man, there's tons of glass. Yeah, we take 
We, re we can remove bird poop off of the best of them. Ha ha ha. We even give free estimates right here. Right? They're like, oh, ha ha. Really? Right? You're bringing their wall down. And I'm not trying to tell you how to sell. But this is my techniques. You're bringing their wall down. Now they're comfortable. And they go, really? Free estimates? Instant? Yeah, yeah. We look up uh, your stuff right here. I can take a look at a picture of your house right now. No way. Yeah, yeah. You want to do one real quick? Yeah, let's just see. They came in for the chocolate. Now you have them to talk. Now they're going to see the price because a lot of people, a lot of people have no clue what the price is. They just don't. Again, we had an interview. This is going to be last week with um, uh, the man, Trad Man, which, by the way, I'm wearing my, my uh, you know, kind of UK loving shirt. But they do it way different there. And we talked about it that most people here don't know pricing. They don't know process. They don't know any of that stuff. So getting them the estimate, really? I always thought it was more expensive than that. No, it's only 200 bucks and or it's 199 bucks, whatever your price ends up being, of course. Um, and you know, what's really nice is you don't have to worry about doing the stupid windows anymore. Windows are awful. Oh, I hate doing windows. That's another one. People come into your booth just to tell you they hate doing windows and go, ah, oh, so do I. That's why I have uh, employees. Ha ha ha. Or... Um, yeah, you hate doing windows? Uh, well, I guess when you do them eight hours a day every single day, they're not that bad. Or people say, what do you use? I always get streaks. Oh, well, we just, we use the best equipment. It's the rubber and the channel. We change that every single day. And we do it eight hours a day every single day. So we get pretty darn good at it. Ha ha ha. You know, there's other ways to kind of sell on humor to get them interested and talk to you. If you're all about business, now you're that pushy car salesman, right? You're the uh, the the window guy working on commission, the uh, window installer, who you're like, oh, how are you? Great day, great day to sell windows. Windows are now it's because it's, it's a great day when you get to when you get to deal with Genweld, huh? Like, oh, okay, like I'm not talking to you, man. You're creeping me out. But if you're just humorous, it gets people in, and you're gonna be on your feet for hours and hours and hours. It's nice to kind of break it up with just talking. You know, shooting the stuff with people for the PG rating on the uh, on the podcast. But that's what gets people in. It's going to be big letters again, window cleaning. It's going to be chocolate, right? Literature I always put on the table closest to the edge because there are people who don't want to talk to you. They don't want to talk to anybody, but they'll grab your thing. You'll see them walk in, grab it, and walk off. Uh, I always say, oh, any questions? No, no, just wanted to get the information. Perfect. But they got it. They took it. Right? Think of all the people that come through these shows. You, you can get numbers. When you're planning shows, ask them their attendance numbers. They'll know. Now, they're a little bit skewed because they give away free tickets and count those, and nobody goes if they're free sometimes, that kind of thing. But at least you'll know. Oh, last year we had 2,500 people. That's a small show. Oh, last year we had 43,000 people. You're like, holy cow. Right? You're in front of that. That many people will get to see your logo. They get to see, I always wear my nice shirt and a Brand new bucket on a belt with some squeegees and equipment. Oh, that's nerdy, right? But it's kind of eye catch. People go, what is that on your hip? Oh, it's a bucket on a belt. It's what we use. But it's brand new. <laughs> Nobody sees it. It's never been used. I have brand new equipment sitting kind of in what we call a store. And that's where I pull from, right? I want to play the part, but I've got a nice polo tucked in. That's not how we show up to your house, but I want to look the part. And all I want to do is open up a conversation. All I want to do is talk to somebody. Because if I can talk to somebody, I will get them to buy my service, right? That's the key, the key to this. Um, and it's the deal. The deal is the hook at the end. You have to understand what the hook is that gets people to say yes, finally. If they're on the fence, it's like the, the TV offers, you know, for $19.95 and shipping and handling, you get blah, blah, blah. But call now and it's, you know, in these deals, they're looking for buy four windows, get the fifth free. They're looking for, you know, free labor on installation or roof. That's what they're getting at these home shows. But they're ready. Hook them with that deal, whatever it might be, and get them in. A lot of people also do giveaways, uh, raffles. There are people who will sign up for that. Ah, oh, man, I really could use, I give away a year free window cleaning. That's two window cleanings. And I will give that away what that's great no because i'm going to upsell uh it's still free and it's worth all the other people that i get so what happens is is when people see that year free window clean not bad yeah just fill out the form super simple make it the simplest form ever name phone address have you had window cleaning done one other little dumb question and email i always put the email in. i always say 
I don't want to call everybody, uh, but if you put the email in or, um, you know, for the winner, we just go ahead and email off the certificate and everything. Oh, yeah. So they'll put that on there. But now what I have is information. I usually put, this is how mine reads. I have name, phone, email, and would you like an estimate? That's what I put on there. With that info, when they hand it off, it's quick and easy. When people are walking by and they look at the sheet, oh, it's not a lot of work, I don't have to write a book, right? They go ahead and they do it. So sending that uh, or submitting that slip, not only are they getting that, but you're getting a lead. And it tells you right there if they want to bid or not. A lot of the times people will put yes because they think that helps their chances. But you can call and your call rate's not going to be amazing, but you're going to get names and phone numbers, email. I put them in my email list. Um, you're going to get all that info, right? They've given you that information and they'll tell you if they want to get an estimate. And I'm telling you, every single show I've ever done ever I've gotten work off of those, just those people that didn't even want to talk to me. Maybe they took literature. Maybe they did. They don't. Even, they don't even look at that. A home show we used to do was always in February. You, it's very hard to sell in February. Our policy was always we could book up to a year in advance because people go, oh, I don't want them done this. Ah, what about uh, April fourth? Is that a good day for you? It's a Monday afternoon. Oh yeah, actually that would work. Well, good. It's out far. It's out far enough. We'll call you the week before. Right, however you do your scheduling. But with these, what I do is I get all that information, I wait a couple weeks, and then I call. Because now it's not really in their brain anymore, and now you're refreshing it in their brain. You're getting all of the commotion of the show out of their head. They're not remembering it like you are, right? They're just doing this before they go to the IHOP after with the family, right? So getting that all out of their head and then calling them, it's a great, great way to generate those leads that you're able to call. Now, if you know who Dave Carroll is, which I think everybody knows who he is, A-Type Data, awesome guy, super, super smart. He does shows, loves them. He goes big on these shows too, and he just does amazing. There's a lot of guys out there who really get the booth set up right. They just, they really, really do. You don't have to go as crazy as long as it's simple to the point you look amazing and the booth is inviting and you have chocolate. <laughs> Those are the keys, man. Then you can have people in there, and I'm telling you, Think about it. How many jobs do you need to book at a $500 show with the cost of everything else? How much jobs do you need to get? Those are forever work as long as you can keep them. It's so worth it. So worth it. Home and Garden Shows is where it's at 100%. I try to do every single one that's anywhere close to me. The other one is craft fairs. So real quick, I want to touch on craft fairs. Craft fairs and uh, what other kind of shows like uh, Christmas shows and that kind of thing, uh, they do not work as well because people are there to buy a Santa head, right? Or, uh, you know, if they're going to a craft fair, they're looking at a nice pendant for their mother's birthday. So sometimes they're not always as qualified, but they're less expensive to get into craft shows, we're talking 100, 200 bucks or less sometimes. You can get a quick booth. I'm not going crazy because I don't need to go with all these other ones. It's just you standing and talking. Now, at a $100, $50 show, $100, $200, that's one job you've more than paid for it, right? <clears throat> Still worth doing, and it gets your name out there. The other really nice thing with these shows is the more these people see you, it's just like anything. Maybe there's brand recognition, but then they start seeing you everywhere, like McDonald's. I always say McDonald's. I get yelled at. Because McDonald's is bigger, it's not window cleaning, that type of thing. But McDonald's is huge. There's not a person from the age of four to the age of 90 in the United States that doesn't know what McDonald's is. Everybody knows what it is. They might eat there, they might not, but they know what it is. But McDonald's still advertises on billboards, radio, magazines, TV, everything, everything. Why? Because they need to keep being fresh. They need to be in your face. They need to be continually be relevant. It's the same thing in your company. Now, if you can do a show and talk to some people, they get a feel for you. It's pretty awesome. If you're not a great talker, you're not a good in-person type uh, player in the game, get um, a, 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 a nice, attractive person to be in your booth to wear your clothes to get them in and kind of talk to them and schmooze them. And then they're like, oh, yeah, you did you want a free estimate? Yeah, oh, let me let you talk to Jersey over here. He'll get you set up, right? Those are the people that do the schmoozing. And then you go, oh, hey, how are you? I'm just doing the estimate, you know. 
it's uh it's really really beneficial to go that route but shows are where it's at man i love them i love them do on-site estimates be noticed they'll be don't be forgettable and uh, get literature into their hands it's good stuff anyway it's great to be back though uh, after all these interviews, so I really do appreciate it. Like I said, if you want to win 50 bucks in credit and the swag bag, go ahead, thumbs up our video on YouTube and go ahead and put a comment. It could be any comment. It's a generator. It's a random generator. Put what's up. Hey, how are you? Great show. Bad show. You suck. Right? Put whatever. And uh, we'll pick a winner every single week, so make sure to do that, please. It's super awesome. And share it. If you share this video... From any of the social platforms, guess what? I'm going to give you five entries. Five entries into the contest every week. And uh, yeah, can you win it more than once? Yes, you can. You can win it every single week if you really want. You could sell the Adderay pins for $1,000 a piece online. I don't really think you could, but you could try. But either way, you certainly can, so do that. Also, I am a sales rep for Window Cleaning Resource. Like I said, if you know or you don't know or you are one of my customers, listen, every time you order something through me, $50 piece or a $10,000 piece. That helps me and it's surely, surely awesome and uh, it's super appreciated. So give me a call, 862-312-2026 or text me because texting is awesome too. Facebook message me, box me, whatever you want to do. I certainly, certainly, certainly appreciate it. And until next week, be epic, go make some money and uh, get ready for uh, the uh, cold weather here coming up shortly.